Hey guys, today I'm filming my monthly makeup basket for May. This is unfortunately the last month I'll be rocking my spring makeup products, but I'm really excited about all the things that I've chosen to use this month. And I'm usually super excited to move on to the next season of products, but I really like my spring makeup a lot more than my summer makeup, but in summer I get to use all my Cora blushes that I love so much. So pros and cons, but I'm still loving makeup nonetheless. So last month I introduced my new way of talking about products in these videos and you guys seem to really enjoy it, so I'm going to continue doing that. So before I get into all of these products, I'm going to show you the overview of my drawers. So here's an overview of all of the drawers in my monthly makeup basket. Top row from left to right we have my nail polishes, complexion products, and cheek products. Bottom row from left to right would be brow products, eye products, and lip products. Here is an overview of my nail polishes. Here is an overview of all of my brow products. Here's an overview of all my complexion products. These are all of my cheek products. These are all of my eye products. And these are all of my lip products. On the left are lip care items that always stay in here, but on the right are the colored lip products that change from month to month. And now I'm going to give you the nitty gritty details on all of the products. So if you guys are curious to see how I actually pick my products out of my collection, I do have an entire video on that as well as sharing with you guys my top five tips for makeup baskets. I'll have that video linked up here as well as in the description box if you guys would be interested in that. So starting with nail polish, I originally had chosen five different shades, but I just recently got five new polishes in my collection that I don't want to wait until next year to use. I want to use them now so I figured I would go ahead and try these out so I can give you my thoughts on them and all the polishes are just so much fun. My first polish is what I'm wearing on my nails today. This is from the Sinful Colors Vanessa Hudgens collection which you can find at Ulta and this is the color Spaced Out which is a really pretty shimmery pinky purple color. And the other four shades are ones that I purchased from 90 Lacquer. Three are from her new spring collection. And one she's had on the website for a while, but I just recently purchased it. And this is June 2016. If you're unfamiliar with 90 Lacquer, it is a brand that was created by Just Face 90, who is an amazing polish YouTuber. And this just seems like a really pretty purple. In some of the swatches, it appeared a little bit lighter than this. So I'm hoping that I will enjoy that one on the nails as much as I'm thinking I will. And then from her spring collection, I chose different colors and formulas that I don't usually gravitate towards but I have really and then from her spring collection I chose three polishes I wouldn't normally gravitate towards for either the color or the finish or formula but they just look so freaking amazing in just the swatches I had to try them out so fingers crossed I would love these as well this first one is cottontail which is a really cool pink with silver and gold glittery pieces in here. I think this will be super foiled and dynamic looking on the nails. It's not gonna look like a straight up pink, which is nice because I don't love pink polish. Then I have this color Budding, which is like a lime peridot green, which is so pretty. I don't wear greens like this, but again, it looked amazing in the swatch. And the last one is Robin's Egg. You guys know how much I love blue, but this one is unique to my collection because it does have pieces of pink glitter and then I think some holographic glitter in there as well, which makes it look like a true Robin's Egg, which is so, so cool. And I cannot wait to try those out and review them for you guys. So I will give you guys all of my thoughts on these polishes in my May favorites and products updates. I'll make a note to remember to give you my thoughts on the formula of all of those and I will insert manicure Monday pictures then. Moving on to brow products, I will be starting with my NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. Then for brow pencils, I'll be using my NYX Micro Brow in the shade Blonde. And then I'm sort of alternating between the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number one and the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in Blonde. These are super duper similar formulas and color actually. So I was really trying to test this out for for my April favorites and product updates, but I absolutely love it. And I don't want this to just go sitting around. So I'm gonna to try to use those interchangeably.
interchangeably because those pencils actually do take quite a while to use up. Then I have my MAC eyeshadow in Omega. I'm so excited to see that I've hit really good pan on this because usually when you repress a product, it's a lot softer and you go through it a lot quicker. Well, not with this MAC shadow. So I was really happy to hit pan and hopefully I can finish this by the end of the year. I wasn't feeling so hopeful, but now I am. I still have a good bit of the year left. Then I'll finish everything off with the NYX Tinge of Brown Mascara in the shade Blonde. Also, sometimes on my filming days like today, I will just be using the Benefit Cabral Pomade in the shade number one. Now moving on to complexion products, you guys know I always have a super in-depth high maintenance routine. So for face primer, I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer to use all over, and the Benefit Pores No More Primer to fill in my large pores. This one I think should be done in a week. And this one, I'm not sure because it didn't start with much product, but I absolutely really enjoy both of these. This is in my current project pan as a replacement product. So I'd be super excited if I could finish this before my update, which I will be filming in four days. So we'll see if I can make it or not. You'll find out in that update. Same with my foundation, actually. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in 510 Fair. I've left it in this container. It feels like there's hardly anything left, but every time I go to use it, product just flows out of here. And I think it's because it has all this air in it that it's propelling the product out, which is great. But I really have no idea how much I have left. So again, I also hope that's something I can finish off in the next four days before my update, but you guys will find out then. And this is too dark for me, so I am mixing it with my Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation in Porcelain. I was able to completely scoop out that product, put it in this little sample jar. I've been working out of this for a couple weeks now, and this is all I have left but this also might last me a week a week and a half or so and I'm not sure what foundation I'm going to use after that I think I'm just going to rotate through my collection and rediscover my foundations again because it's been quite some time so for concealers I actually have four which girl I know it's quite a lot but um I'm doing what I can. The first is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair 00, which is the white shade. I'm using this as my mixer, and I've been mixing that with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 10. I've been using this to give me extra coverage on my cheeks. It's a little too dark, so I take a couple little dabs of the white shade, and it makes a perfect match for me. Then to use as a corrector under my eye, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the Brightener shade. This one is taking a while to work through because I don't need that much. Then I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the Ivory shade. You can see them all the way down here. I am hoping I can have this finished off by June 1st, so you guys will find out in my next makeup basket whether I'll be able to finish it or not, but I really, really hope so. I like this, but the color is too dark for me. So also with this, I am using my ColourPop White Concealer to help lighten this. I'm using this to highlight the center of my face as well as conceal and brighten under my eyes. To set my under eyes, I am using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. To set my face, I have a new combination. I am starting with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade number 5 Fair. This is one of the best powders ever. I absolutely love this. And this powder is a little too light for me in combination with the rest of my face products. So I set it with that and then I'm actually going over top with the Balm Sexy Mama. This is what mine looks like. I've hit major pan, and this is supposed to be a translucent powder, but it actually is not on my skin tone. It's too dark for me, so it probably would look translucent on a medium skin tone, but for me, it's too dark, and it oxidizes. So I cannot use this as a touch of powder or with any other powder that already matches my skin, or it looks way too dark and orange and warm. So what I've been doing for the past couple days is trying out this combo. So I'm completely setting my face with a Maybelline Fit Me and a damp sponge. And then I'm going over top with my Real Techniques powder brush, taking a light dusting of this all over, which helps adjust the shade, but not make it too dark. I also do not like this formula for a touch up powder because I end up looking really cakey once I'm oily for some reason. So this is is where I am right now. It's a pretty shallow pan and I wanted to show it to you now because I am going to repress this to hopefully help me finish this off by June 1st as well. So I'm going to take a before and after picture of repressing. So those are all
all of my complexion products, but it's really exciting for me to have these little mini goals of finishing things up that aren't already in other projects. Then we are moving on to my cheek products for bronzer. I have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the bronzer shade. You guys told me not to repress this because it will absolutely be a mess. And I'm definitely going to take your advice, not repress this. I haven't had pieces flaking off recently, which is great because I don't want this to go to waste because I love it so much, but I've absolutely been and enjoying that. Then for my contour, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer in the medium shade. It literally looks like I haven't touched it at all. There is zero dip in this pan and I've been using it every day, but it is very, very pigmented. For highlighters, I have the Pixie and Aspen Ovard in London Luster and the NYX Duo Chromatic Highlight in the shade Snow Rose. I haven't really been using this one as much because I just prefer the Pixie one, but sometimes I mix these together. So I'll try to use this one a little bit more this month. And then I have four blushes picked out. The first is from MAC. This is What I Fancy. It's a satin finish, a light warm pink this is not my favorite blush. It was from a limited edition collection. And you guys know how much I love my limited MAC blushes, but this one was not in special packaging. And I truly do believe I would have liked it better if it was, which I know makes no sense, but it's a pretty color and it's a good formula. I just haven't been reaching for it. So having only four blushes to use this month should make me use it more, should it be in the operative word. Then this next blush, I've already worn it once and absolutely fell in love so far. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Funfetti. This was part of a special collection. It came with a palette. My friend Jean sent this to me. It's really a beautiful core when you mix all these shades together and it is a matte finish. I cannot wait to wear this more. I already feel like it's gonna be in my favorites just after using it that one time. I absolutely fell in love with the color and the packaging is so cute. It looks like Polly Pocket. Love, love, love. And then my last two blushes I mentioned in a recent Throwback Thursday video. And these are blushes that I'm wanting to test out to see if I still love them as much as I used to and if I really need these shades in my collection. So that would be the Milani Matte Baked Blushes in Delicioso Pink and Bella Rosa. I know I like the formula, but it's really if I want to keep these colors around. So I definitely need to test these more to make that final decision. So moving on to eyes. First, I have my Milani Eyeshadow Primer, of course. Then for eyeshadows, I have the ones that are in my project pans. I have my spring ColourPop shadows in Z palette that I've been using every month. And I will also be doing either a palette of the month or a review and demo. I'm not quite sure and would love to know your thoughts. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the palette of the month palette. This is the Balm Meat Matte Schmaker. And this is the newest palette to Balm, I believe, at least the newest in the Meat Matte line. So basically what you have in here are six duos. You have a shimmer and a matte in each duo and I want to test out the formula and review them for you guys but I don't know if I want to do looks using all of them because I'm going to be filming these looks when I'm doing my other videos and these are not springy shadows. Now it's my fault I chose it for this month but because this is a newer palette I want to give you my thoughts on it now. So let me know what you think. I definitely want to use it some, do a demo for you guys, and obviously I have to test it out enough to review it, but I just don't think these shades go with the rest of these spring makeup products. But let me know your thoughts on it. If you're okay with me just doing a review and demo like I did with my Dose of Colors I should have palette review, which I'll link up here, or if you want me to do my typical palette of the month where I show you different looks using all the shades in this palette. So let me know what you guys would like to see. So the rest of the shadows are the same that I've had in these previous makeup baskets for spring. So this is my Spring Z palette. I love it so much. The eye look I'm wearing today is using three of these shades and I actually really enjoyed this look so I'm hoping to continue using this and come up with more looks using these shadows. Then I have my ColourPop Super Shocks that I barely used at all. I've either been using those powder shadows or these shadows in my project pan so I would like to use these some this month but I'm also really focused on trying to really work on my project pan shadows so we'll see what I actually end up using. This one here is Snap Dragon which is a matte finish. Then I have the shade Daddy, which is a pressed pigment finish. ColourPop just added some new items to the Ulta website, and these two shadows are available there, which I think is exciting. And hopefully that means these are permanent because they are really, really cool shades. Then the other one I have here is Flower Shop, which is a pearlized finish. Such a beautiful shade. I have paint on all three of them, so I already know I love them. 
but it would be nice to actually use them more, especially because as we all know together and have learned here, and I'm sure other places as well, super shocks do dry out. So then I have my project pan shutters. And as I said, my two ColourPop ones are the ones that I'm really going to focus on this month because I want to hit my goals on them very, very badly. And compared to my powder shadows, these are the ones that are definitely the most likely of hitting my goal on. So this one is the ColourPop Super Shock in Just For Fun. I really just have around these edges, but I want to finish this one completely this month. And even though I've been able to blow through these relatively quickly, this one has been taking me a little bit longer and been a little bit tougher to work through for some reason, but I love the color so much. And if they re-promote this shade, I'll definitely repurchase it. I like it that much. And then the other shade is Belladonna Lily. It's a matte finish and I just want to hit pan on this. It has a good dip. So hopefully if I use it three or four times, I'll be able to get a good amount of pan. So these are really going to be my main focus this month, as well as testing the palette of the month shadows. But the other ones I have are my Make a Geek Shadows. This is Shimma Shimma Bake Cell and Tan Lines. These two mattes I use for transition and crease with both of my ColourPop shadows. So I'll be able to use those quite a bit, but I won't be focusing on Shimma Shimma this month. I'll use it some, but it's not a priority for me at this point since I only have one month left in my project pan. And then along with Shimma Shimma, I was using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Beige. So I probably won't use this one a ton or have a ton of progress on this because I only use it with Shimma Shimma. I still have in here my MAC Pigment in True Chartreuse. Haven't used it yet. We'll see if I do. Then I've got some liners. I have the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen. I haven't really done liquid liner much this entire season, but I did test this out recently in a first impression. So since it's open, I want to put it in my basket to start using. I have the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Prance, which is an amazing periwinkle blue. I have been using it in my waterline almost every day, and this is in my current project pan. And I really want to focus on this one to get it used used up by the end of my project, but we'll see about that. That one's going to come down to the wire for sure. Then I have a trio of mascaras right now that I'm not loving, but I want to try to use them up. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I also put this in my high end first impression video and I used it for all of April. I'm gonna use it for all of May and then I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't wanna use this for three months because I don't like it that much and I have so many mascaras to get through. Then I did open a full size mascara, which was kind of silly of me, but I think I can use this with a bunch of the deluxe sample mascaras I have. This is the Jessie's Girl Dyla Lash. It's a very wet formula and it's a plastic bristle brush. Most of my deluxe sample size mascaras are a natural bristle that give a lot more volume, but this one is good for length and separation. So no matter which mini mascara I use next, I think I can combine it with this one to really get some nice lashes. And I have been enjoying that one so far, but for me, lengthening and separating mascaras, I only like when I'm combining them with a volumizing mascara. And then I'm also using my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. It feels like there's not that much product in here, but it felt like that to begin with. So I'm just going to continue using this for a while because it does a great job of separating. And I really enjoy this one but the, it's just an okay trio right now. And lastly, we have my lip products. I have seven and a half items here. They're all swatched on the back of my hand. And these particular lip products are all neglected. They're ones that I've only used a handful of times. And I'm hoping that I can use them all at least once in a video this month. So you guys can also let me know your feedback on how you think it looks and hopefully come up with some great makeup looks to go along with these lipsticks to make me love them and use them more. So we'll see how that goes throughout the month. The first item is one I may have only used one time. It is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Criminal. It's a comfort matte finish, which is definitely my favorite formula. And this is a beautiful warm pink. And this is a lipstick I've never really known which season I would like it best in. So I'm gonna try it this year for spring. My next one is the reason why it's seven and a half because it is a lip combo, mostly focused around the lipstick, but I do have a lip liner that I really only use in combination with this color for some reason. So I want to use them together to get some use out of the lip liner. So the lip liner is from ColourPop and it is the shade Polite Society, which was part of a limited edition collection. And this is a beautiful 
warm pink color. I don't quite know how to describe this. It's definitely not coral or brown, but not pink. It's a combination of all of them for some reason. I can't describe it, but I really love that shade. And then the lippy stick I'm pairing with it is Hype Girl. It is a matte finish. This is my all-time favorite ColourPop Peach Lippy Stick, and I had to purchase a ton to find my favorite. This is the perfect pink tone peach. It isn't too pale, and especially with that lip liner, it works really, really well, and I do enjoy the matte finishes, so I'll be excited to rock that combination, and I hope I still love it as much as I used to because recently I've been trying some of my favorite ColourPop Lippy Sticks and not liking them anymore, which has been a huge disappointment. And then I have five liquid lipsticks. The first is from Dose of Colors in the shade Rosebud. This is a very, very pale, pinky, purple color. I'm a little nervous for this one because it is so pale, but I'm so pale that I hope I can make it work. My next lip product is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lip Cream in the shade Lychee, which is a rosy pink color and I do plan on doing a review on these liquid lipsticks very soon and this is the third shade that I'm needing to test out so I'll be wearing this one very soon and probably in that review video for you guys so you will hear my thoughts on that formula coming very soon. Then I have two Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I have the shade Crush which is a light pink color. I always thought it was cool but it looks a little bit like a warm pink nude. We'll see how it looks on my lips and it might change depending on the eye look I pair with it. And then I have the liquid lipstick in Dolce, which looks very peach on me, like a little bit too neon, but hopefully I can find a makeup look to make it work because that color looked amazing on everybody else. And when I bought it, I was like, uh, what? And then the last one I have is the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fresh Cut. And this is an ultra matte lip and it looks like a really pretty rosy pink. Here are swatches of all the lip products. Urban Decay Criminal, ColourPop Hype Girl, ColourPop Polite Society, Dose of Colors Rosebud, Jouer Liquid Lipstick, in Lychee, Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Crush and Dolce, and the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Fresh Cut. So guys, that was my monthly makeup basket for May. Please let me know your thoughts if you tried any of these products. I would also love to know what things you plan on wearing this month. Please answer the poll question and let me know your thoughts on what I should do with the Balm Meat Matchmaker Palette. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.